Shalom. We the Israelites. We come out to prophesy the downfall of America, which is Babylon in the scriptures, which is Egypt in the scriptures, which is Assyria in the scriptures. Also, we out here to wake up the elect of the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. In the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, who y'all call God and Jesus. America is on its last leg, like we always say. If you can't see it, then you are blind. There's stuff going on all across the world to let you know these are the signs from the Lord that let you know this earth about, is about to be destroyed. Soon. And with that, we're going to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there spreading the word in truth and sincerity. This is Luke 20, 21 and 9. But when ye hear, war, hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet by. All right. By. Right there. If, when you hear about these wars, and if you talk to a two-third who think they know a little bit about the scriptures, they're going to be like, it's been wars going on and for forever. But we talking about these wars that fit the prophecies of these last days, like World War III, which is in the um, scriptures. When you hear about nations going against nations, um, such as Babylon and the, um, the Lord sending the Medes, which is Iran, when you see Iran and America going at it, you know, hey, the Lord is getting ready to do his work. Verse 10. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. You got earthquakes going on in South America and Peru mainly, in Chile. You got earthquakes up in um, Mexico. You had earthquakes recently up there in um, California. And now the second second out of three weeks, you got um, major earthquakes in Nepal. The Lord is doing the work. The Lord is letting your people know that he's about to come. Now, whether you hear or forbear, he's about to come. Whether you hear or forbear, the Lord is about to come and bring destruction upon the earth. We see kingdom versus kingdom. That lets you know that the Lord is about to come. That's why we out here doing the work. Because we want to be saved from this. We see these things happening, and the Lord is waking up his man on um, all four corners of the earth to um, get into his scriptures and to come out here and do the work for the sake of getting saved. Right. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. The great and great earthquake shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence, and fearful sights and fearful signs shall there be in heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for his name's sake. And those are to the man of the Lord, those are to the Lord's apostles, those are to the Lord's disciples that happened back then. And that's gonna happen right now. And the Lord and, and the men uh, of the Lord who are part of that elect, who are uh, thoughtful of that, they know that's they know that's gonna come. And be ready for that. You see all these other things going on, and that answer I spirit it up and shoot. You're gonna take up brothers and in your concentration camps, that's what it is. And we're gonna keep the faith until the end. Lord willing to be part of those men. But the basis of that, what we're getting into, the Lord is showing you people, but you people are blind. You gotta have eyes to see. But you can't see, but you have ears, but not to hear. This is Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. Jerusalem, you still got you still got a um, remnant of, of that temple still up. So that lets you know the Lord still ain't come back yet. That it's still prophecies that need to happen. 
And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? Or what shall be the sign of the coming of thy coming? Because they asked that question because they if you if you care, if you if you even care about your own well-being, you gonna you you're gonna look up some type of conspiracy theory, we're gonna see what's going on with the world and be like, what's going on? And the disciples like, when when, when shall be the time of, of your coming? End of the end of the world. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am I am a Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. All these things must come to pass. So we seeing riots. We know that the race riots gotta go up, but all these other niggas, they getting emotional about it. They trying, they getting emotional about it. You got, um, you got wars growing up over there in the Middle East. Other people concerned about it. We know that it's supposed to come. We ain't, we not troubled by it. We wanted to have more. You got, you got Edomites and you got some Jaku in the conspiracy theory. They getting troubled by the, the thought of concentration camps and, and all the military preparation that they making to um, bring upon you people over here in, um, in America. We ain't troubled by that because we know it's supposed to come. It has to come. Because we want the Lord to come. So in order for him to come, that got to happen first. So we all down for it. But the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Then shall, then not, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. They yeah. shall kill you. Yeah, and that's talking about the man of the Lord right there. The beginning of sorrows is all these, it's the beginning of sorrows and stuff that's going to happen now. You people don't even know what's coming. Because the Lord said that this, this is going to be the worst times of all. So the beginning of sorrows is when they first drop that martial law shit. Because people are going to die of famine. And that takes a while for you all ass to die of, of, of a famine, of not eating. Because they got studies where the human body can last 60 days. Some, some people can last 60 days. 60 days of straight hell. All of that shit, that's the beginning, and then them noose gonna come and burn you people up in the everlasting fire. Right. And then the script, he just borrowed the scripture, then they shall deliver you up. That's talking about the man of the Lord. And that, that's, that's fine. Lord willing, we part of that elect. We, we know what we signed up for when we came out here, but that's all about, about showing faith. That's right. You said Rex 84 for the Hispanics? Of how America 
on some on divides that's pending. Most of that chart, about 55% of it is military. Oh man. That's more than education um, and everything and, and everything else involved. Go ahead up. Let the weak say, I am strong. Can I, can I say something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah that's the week. You, you, now you're looking at like Pakistan, Iran, um, you're looking at North Korea. I mean, back in the 80s, they, Americans looked at them like, like real peons, like, where are these little countries that they were? And now everybody got nukes. And so that's like the, the big boy toy, as I so to say, you know? Because uh, if you're a big dude, you weigh 250 pounds, you muscled up. Now that little nigga that you're talking about, you got a gun. So now you, you can't you can't just deal with him the way you used to. You can't bully him the way you used to bully him. Cause though he only weigh a hundred and, and a buck forty five, now he got a now he got a gun. You, you talk that mess, he, he gonna shoot. So North Korea, which is a, which is a very small country, um, as far as scale to to America, as far as land, as far as population, and as far as um, GDP, hey, they got nukes, so all that shit don't matter. Iran, as far as on the, on the nation, on the um, international scale of influence, America is a much bigger country than Iran. But Iran got nukes. And all them little dudes, they all in cahoots. They all together, man. So when they pan up, they way bigger than America, man. And they all got nukes. And that's why they say all that been the vote. That's why I said Jeremiah. All you that been the boat, shoot at her. It's all them little niggas like we call them. Send them shits over here. Yeah, more on that up. Yeah. Uh, Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither, cause the mighty ones to come down. O oh Lord, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathens round about. That valley of Jehoshaphat is, is that Persian Gulf, all the countries around there. Iran, Iraq, um, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, and, I, and the Lord is saying, gather those people around the valley of Jehoshaphat, and that's going on right now. You got people gathering around in that uh, over there in that area because that's where Armageddon is going to be. America's gonna get burned up by nuclear missile fire, and over there, that shit gonna, um, you're gonna have nukes flying um, all the way over there. That's what World War III is gonna be. That's all you got on there. Just to, you know, just to say, just to reiterate what he said, um, all these nations that are gathered around there, um, really, the, the Lord got them set up in, a, in an illusion because why are they over there? Because they want the resources, they want the oil, okay, and um, and of course America being the dominant power with its currency is trying to get all these other nations to use its currency as well as the two more things. Because the Muslims don't want that anymore. They see how destructive it is to their people and to their culture. And everybody see the world is up for grabs now with this dollar. With this dollar about to go out, everybody see the world is up for grabs. That's why they not hesitant to get people, more people trying to get off this island and get back on that gold. Yep. And making these treaties and these alliance, alliances and stuff like that. This is 2nd Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of thy signs pass, which I have told thee before, then, then shalt thou understand that it is very that it is the very time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Uh, measure the time in measure the time in itself diligently. That's why we stay in the scripts and we stay up on on um, these alternative um, media sites. Uh, um, we stay up on the new on the news. When earthquakes happen. We we keep a mental note of that stuff. That shit, that stuff letting us know, man, the Lord is about to come. We measuring the time diligently because only a fool could see, couldn't see that this shit is almost over with. With the homosexual vibe, this, that vibration that's going out across the whole world, and we see that, yeah, that shit disgusts us, but at the same time, it let us know, hey, 
we measuring the time. That should let us know, hey, the Lord is about to come real, real soon. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, uh, even from the beginning. Uh, that's right. You see uproars of people over here in America. And if you say that shit to somebody um, else overseas right now, that they'll look at you like shit. Tell me something new. Because that shit going on everywhere. That shit been going on in different places like Spain a couple years back. And now that shit going on everywhere. You got Greece, because people tired of the bullshit. That's why the Lord got everybody come, everybody finna come up against the so-called white man. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And this is uh, Second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another people, and swords in their hands. Yay, yeah, man. So, uh, the scripture saying, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, man. That means destruction. Destruction is coming to America, and it's coming to all those that dwell upon the planet Earth, man. For all y'all wickedness, man. This is, to, this, is, this is so the Lord can recompense you for all the sin and all the abominations that y'all brought upon the earth to the world, not just America, because we over here prophesying the downfall of America, because America's going to be completely wiped out by nuclear missiles. But woe is on to the whole world, so you see the earthquakes going over there in Nepal, and it's going to be more than more. It's going to be tsunamis. It's going to be short-range missiles that go off that's going to fuck up whole cities, other places. And America's going to be the only one that's completely decimated. But shit, they don't... That don't mean go go overseas, cause your your ass will get fucked up overseas also. The Lord gonna do His work across the whole world, cause the whole world needs to be cleansed. The whole world needs to be judged. That's right. And the whole world needs to know who's in charge. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Right. Cause the whole world worship idols like Jesus Christ, like uh, name some uh, cobblestone, mammon, con. Ishtar, Ra, Horus. Yes, yeah, the list goes on and on. You got the Egypt, Egyptology shit. You got a lot of people waking up to Israel, but that Egyptology shit, a lot of people getting into that shit also. The Lord gonna have to show their ass. Cause that Egyptology shit, what the prophecies at in that? In that consciousness shit. These prophecies gonna come to pass. Verse 6 